Good morning and many thanks for joining us on Plus TV, Africa's Off the Press show. It's time to take a look at all of the headlines from the national dailies across the country and all of the happening so far in details we have this morning, this day, the Nation newspaper, Vanguard newspaper, the Punch newspaper and Talking Sports will also be looking at reports from Complete Sports but we start off the day's activities with this day newspaper and one of the biggest headlines, PDP, NWC, BOT at war over House Minority Petition positions. Party summons Lumelu, six others. Now the PDP is emerged in a crisis over who occupies minority leadership positions in the House of Representatives. Already the crisis has pitted the party's National Working Committee against the 99-member Board of Trustees of the party, an advisory body regarded by the PDP constitution as the conscience of the party. And looking at the pictorial to my right, access to the gateway, regional head of Access Bank, uh, the group managing director, uh, Choir State Governor, Al-Haji Abdurrahman Abdurrazak, and the bank's chief of staff, Ms. Halima Kiari, during a cuts visit to the governor in Ilori, Kwara State and service chiefs to meet President Buhari pledged to work harder. Page 8 has details and looking up to the top of the newspaper. Article PDP tender polling unit towards LG's results. Open case against Buhari APC. And Wambuese takes over as lead counsel. The presidential candidate of the PDP um, in the February 23rd election and his party Yesterday opened their case against the election of President Muhammad Buhari with a charge to the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal to ensure that justice is not only done, but it is seen to be one done in the case. And moving up as well, talking business, the Central Bank of Nigeria directive unlocks 1.5 trillion naira for real sector lending as asks banks to maintain 60% LDR. And this is in line with the commitment of the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emifili, to ramp up activities in the Nigerian economy. In his second term, the Apex Bank has definitely taken fresh steps to channel much more funds to the real sector as loans and bandits kill 17 suck four communities in Katsina State. Page 10 has details. And taking a flip to the back page of the newspaper, we have Aki um, Oshun Tokun, the guest columnist, and that's an article on the nemesis of Fulani hegemony. Interesting piece over there. Make sure you grab your copy today and get abreast with all of the headlines. Now, we now move over to the Nation newspaper and we see here the biggest catch of the day. The pictorial, firemen fighting the pipeline inferno in Ijego on the outskirts of Lagos. Just yesterday, quite a horrific situation and some of the vehicles destroyed by the fire. We can see clearly on the top right hand side of the paper and you also see some buildings affected by the fire as it rays down shops and cars and properties. Uh, two people were killed, 21 injured, 31 vehicles damaged in the Lagos fire. An outrage over the deadline and cattle settlement project and multiple riders down below, governors urged to be calm and on Ohanese to Igbo. Defend yourselves and senior advocates of Nigeria dismiss threats. And looking at the pictorial, just down below, uh, we have the deputy director, zonal coordinator of the National Lottery Regulation Commission, the zonal office, uh, legal zonal office in Kiru Onuzulu, the supply chain director of Dangote Cement PLC, and all the key stakeholders at the media unveiling of Dangote Cement PLC's bag of goodies. Consumer promo in Lagos just yesterday. And banks to lend 60% of deposits or be sanctioned. The Central Bank of Nigeria yesterday directed banks to lend out at least 60% of all of their deposits to face sanctions. Now, the new loan to deposit ratio, that's the LDR, is in line with the Central Bank's commitment to boosting economic growth through improved lending. The policy could result in an additional 1.4 trillion naira of lending if the Apex, Apex Bank's directive is implemented to the letter. And that's talking business on page 6 of the Nation newspaper. And going up to the top of the paper, we see here, please detain slapping Senator Abu in Abuja, details on page 4. And our strategies are okay, says service chiefs, page 6. And 
Also talking about Libya, nine Nigerians killed in Libya airstrike. Page 7 has details. UTME candidates held for raisins call. Page 5 has details and reps to probe Google for mace snatching. Page 8 has details and Oyetola Adeleke. Know their fate later on today. And that's also in page 42 as well. Quite an interesting uh, row over there as well and it's just been a case as the supreme court will today give judgment in the four appeals filed by the people's democratic party and its candidate in the last governorship election still making reference to senator ademola adeleke in Oshun state and a seven-man panel led by the acting cj and justice ibrahim Muhammad had already, after hearing the appeals of June 17, fixed July 5 today for judgment. Okay, and we take a flip now to the back page of the newspaper as well. We have uh, Shagung Badegeshi also writing, Mr. President, please clear this fog. And we also have the hardball and the baby died. Hardball is not the opinion of the columnist featured above. Quite interesting details in this article's written, and hopefully we have all of those later discussed sometime in our previous in our next uh, programming. And we also look at Vanguard newspaper now. The biggest headlines: tension builds as herdsmen occupy farms in Imo State. Multiple riders down below. We don't want to fight them. We want peace. That's according to the villagers. As court dismisses Miete Ala suit against open grazing, suspended rigor policy, an act of injustice. Cardinal Okoje speaking there. And our security strategy is working, says the air chief after a meeting with President Muhammad Buhari. And that's all on page 5 of the Vanguard newspaper. And bandits kill 17 in Katsina State. And 2.5 billion Naira DSO trial. Court okays Lai Muhammad as prosecution witness. Page 30 has details. Atiku PDP kickstart case against President Buhari. Tender 5,197 exhibits from Niger Yobe State. And once again, we look at the picture out there, the pipeline explosion in Lagos. Quite a sad situation over there. And driver security guard die. Eight injured in Ijegun pipeline explosion. And Oyetona Adeleke, no fate today. That's according to reports from Vanga newspaper. And to the top of the newspaper now, uh, Rep's leadership didn't test resolve of this house. But Debi Amila wants Chinder's faction. Page 8 has details there, and the PIB 9th Assembly will break the jinx by passing it to law. Lawan says, and FG line on insecurity, Christian elders tell British Parliament. Page 4, and Shinekon used links with the UK government to deceive Abiola. And that's the report as well from Oshaba and CBN mandates banks as well to lend 60% of deposits. And to the back of the newspaper, we see all of the spotting headlines, which we'll still explore when we are talking about the spotting segment. But now, quickly, let's also gloss over now to the Punch newspaper. We now cross over to the Punch newspaper. Once again, this headline has trickled all across the newspapers. It's, it's just an image we can't seem to help in Lagos, the scene of the pipeline explosion at Ijegu. Lagos pipeline fire kills two, scores injured, 68 vehicles, shops burnt. Page 4 and 5 have details there. And Atiku tenders Niger Yobe results as INEC has two different outcomes in local government. And stock market loses 291 billion naira in four days drama as Badabia Mila stops Chinda. Others from raising leadership issues at plenary as APC appoints House Principal Officers. And Ruga Wado reacts to Northern Group's threat, asks Google to defend themselves. And down to the lower part of the newspaper. Please quiz detain Abu for assaulting nursing mother and bandits kill 27 in fresh attacks in Katsina communities and Supreme Court rules on... Um, Oshun governorship case later today, and it's it's just a situation. Everyone is waiting with bated breath to know how things are going to pan out. 
and embargo to the back of the newspaper, of the Punch newspaper, embargo on established new universities. That's according to Friday Musings with um, Ayo Ulu Cotton. And to the lower part, we see the pictorial as well. It's expression. A policeman takes a nap. During a protest of the Islamic movement of Nigeria at the entrance of the National Assembly in Abuja. Quite an irony. Hmm. Well, that's all we have from our newspaper headlines from the Punch newspaper, The Nation, this day, as well as um, Vanguard. And when we come back after this quick break, we'll be talking about sports. Don't go anywhere. Glad to have you back and it's now time to talk some sporting news updates. Now we focus on Complete Sports as well as Vanguard Sports newspaper. But let's start with first with uh, Complete Sports and the headlines here. Akpei, I prayed to become Eagles number one. And AFCON group stage, Amiru makes uh, who scored best uh, 11. A raw Eagles hungry to succeed promises to field best squad against Cameroon. And Baka advised Neymar to return to PSG. And is Lampard the right man for Chelsea? Well, that's still a question. Uh, UV makes a 58.3 million pound speed for delight. And uh, Arsenal makes a Marcelo contact. And Inter all out to buy Lukaku. And Uzoho no problem sitting on the bench and Zidov says that, well, we respect Eagles, but Cameroon boss says Nigeria is beatable. Simon, why we beat Cameroon? Why we must beat Cameroon, really? And fans anticipate Egypt versus Nigeria quarterfinal clash and Her uh, Herrera joins PSG. And talking about uh, some soccer talk, Afghan Diary 6 by Mumuni Alao, he says, die, Super Eagles, die. Quite an interesting stance over there. And we would also be looking at the uh, Africa Cup of, Nat of Nations uh, fixtures for today. We look at the round of 16, Morocco versus Benin, and Uganda versus Senegal. Quite going to be quite an interesting day. And now moving on to the back of the Vanguard newspaper, looking at Vanguard sports as well. We also have a longer lineup of the fixtures as well. The 16 fixtures we have for today, Morocco versus Benin, expected to play by 5 p.m., Uganda versus Senegal at 8 p.m. You have um, coming tomorrow, Nigeria versus Cameroon, 5 p.m., Egypt versus South Africa, 8, 8, 8 p.m., and on uh, July 7, Madagascar versus DR Congo by 5 p.m., Algeria versus Guinea, 8 p.m. And on July 8, Mali versus Ivory Coast, 5 p.m., Ghana versus Tunisia at 8 p.m., and today's fixture still on the FIFA Women's World Cup. We will see England versus Sweden by 4 p.m. and Copa America, Argentina versus Chile by 8 p.m. Afghan, no hiding place for Cameroon. That's according to Gunnar Raw. And Buffon's back. Lampard Chelsea job a huge challenge and on an avouch to stop Eagles striker. And also, uh, talking about AFCON 2019, Nigeria, Cameroon in Titanic battle in Alexandria. And Mane dreams title with Taranga Lions and Zimbabwe's chimpanzee in much fixing scandal. Barcelona tells Neymar to return to PSG instead of going a wall. Well, this is where the cookie crumbles on today's edition of Off the Press. Make sure you make it a date. Next week, Monday, when we bring you all of the newspaper headlines, it's going to be definitely a beautiful Friday. We still have plenty more in stock for you. Stay tuned for the rest of our programming. Many thanks for watching.